Carol, one of the uh, one of the questions that we see a lot on the, the Bass Cat Owners Board, which if if you haven't seen it, just go to basscat.com, look for the link on the left that owners board, okay? If you got any question at all about a bass cat boat, that's the place to go. Basscat.com, look for the link that says owners board, okay? One of the most frequently asked questions is what does this button do and you know, how does this what does this do with my live well? How, how does this how does everybody work their live well? Okay. This is, I want to tell you, the easiest and most efficient way to operate your live well when you're fishing tournaments. All right, you take off in the morning for your derby, you get out there, get to your first spot, put some water in your live well. All right, the easiest way to do that, and this, you gotta do it, flip this valve from empty to auto. All right, auto keeps the water in the live well, won't let it out. All right, after you do that, come right over here to the little ATN touchpad and push it one time for manual. All you're doing is pumping water in there. All right, and, and the, way that, the way that this works and the recirculator works, manual, it's on all the time, running 24 seven till you turn it off, okay? Five, what that five means is it, the pump will run one minute and then it'll be off for five minutes. Okay, one, off for five. Three, it runs one minute, it's off for three minutes. Okay, I would recommend, just forget about the five and just turn it on to three. Okay, you, I, you want as much, much oxygen as you can get in that water. Just switch it over there to three, okay? Put as, as much uh, oxygen as you can in the water. Now, we got our live wells full. What I do is I turn the aerator off, and I won't I won't put any more fresh water in there unless it's extremely hot, and I want to take some of the, the the used water, if you will, out and replace it with fresh water. Maybe put a little ice in there. Okay. What I after after I get the live wells full, I turn the recirculator on. Okay. These boats they are set up so that the recirculator actually puts it keep, keeps the water that's in here and all it does is it recirculates it all right when it's extremely hot that's very important because you can add ice I, you know if you're into chemicals you can add whatever chemicals that you want but as the day goes on it gets hotter and hotter okay you want to keep this water in here as cool as possible if you're constantly pumping fresh water in with the aerator you're not gonna keep it cool because you're just pulling surface temperature or you're just pulling surface water off the top of the lake and it's gonna be hot, all right? So just keep that in mind. Fill it full with the aerator, turn the aerator off, turn the recirculator on, okay? Turn that little puppy on three, all right? One minute on, three minutes off. That's it. I mean, that's the, that in a nutshell, that's all you do with a Bass Cat Live Well. Uh, we, most of our premium packages, uh, they do have a, uh, a pump in. They've got a, we've got a pump that pumps more water in so you can get water in there fast. We also have a pump that pumps water out. When you, you get to the weigh in in the afternoon, you want to get some of that water out of your live well because those basket live wells, man, they're deep. I mean, they're, it's, there's a lot of water in there. Push your pump out button, blow some of that water out the back, make it a lot easier for you to get your fish out. And in, in a nutshell, that's the Bass Cat Live Wells right there.